This is an ECG of a 35 years old male who presented with chest pain. He was not having comorbids. The chest pain was mild to moderate in intensity. The patient was apprehensive about the chest pain. So the ECG was done and the ECG showed the following features. Now let's discuss these. First of all, we can see that the most important figure is the Q waves. So the Q waves, whenever they are present, one should be alarmed about pathologies. So first of all, these Q waves are present in the limb leads 1, 2, 3 and AVF and these are marked in the figure. Moving on, we can see that there are also T wave inversions. These T wave inversions are symmetrical and again these are seen in the same leads showing Q waves. Now ST elevations, they are also present but they are subtle. So ST elevations again they should be picked up whenever they are present even though they are subtle because we know that in the early stages of myocardial infarctions the STs usually are subtle and then they rise up with the passage of time. Now the question arises, all of these findings in the limb leads, do they suggest something or not? The most important question to answer is that, is this patient having myocardial infarction? Now we know that myocardial infarction is one of the common presentations of the chest pain in the emergency. So we need to understand whether these findings correlate with this myocardial infarction because if this is a myocardial infarction, then it needs to be managed as early as possible. But there are some changes in the ECG which need to be assessed before embarking on this grave diagnosis. The most important of these is the AVR first of all. The AVR lead is positive in this case as we can see that there is a P wave that is positive, the T wave that is positive, the QRS complex that is almost positive negative equal so equiphasic but this should all be negative if it's a normal sinus rhythm. So these are all positive. So does this mean something? Let's discuss some other findings before reaching to the reason for these findings. Look at the P waves in the inferior and the lateral leads as well. So we can see that here the P waves as shown by these moving arrows, these P waves are inverted. So we can see that these are inverted and these are the same leads in which we are seeing the other findings of the Q wave, the ST elevation and the T wave inversions as well. And these inferior and the lateral leads, these definitely uh, are involved in myocardial infarction. Now, before reaching to the reason for all these findings, let us see the chest leads as well. So looking at the chest leads, we can see that there is a good healthy progression of the R waves and there is no abnormal findings of any note. So this means that the majority of the findings lie over the limb leads. So combining all these factors, so what is the diagnosis for this case? This was a case of a lead reversal and in this case it was a limb lead reversal. Now this is occasionally seen in the emergency departments when the ECG is performed hurriedly. So the case becomes very tricky if we do not follow the proper way of attaching the lead to the body. In this case the limb lead 1 was swept and as a result the following changes were seen. Now these changes sometimes get misconfused with the myocardial infarction. So uh, this has to be kept in mind before reaching to the diagnosis of some serious disorders just as myocardial infarction. So 
when the leads were placed normally there was no st elevation whatsoever and this was a perfectly normal ecg so do consider these lead reversal especially when there are changes in the avr lead and it has positive vector and poles so always be wary of lead reversal now summarizing the findings for the lead reversal one should look at at least two factors and that is the lead avr it has to be negative in a sinus rhythm so p wave the qrs and the T wave, they have to be negative in the lead AVR. And the next thing is the P wave vector as well in the other leads. So if the P wave is inverted in the limb leads, then always think of a lead reversal. And this should be bear in mind that combining these two factors is a high likely chance that this is a lead reversal.